Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2012 Forest River Wildcat 343 FL front living room triple slide fifth wheel. This is a full profile fifth wheel. This is definitely not an entry level uh, fifth wheel. It definitely has the aluminum frame side walls, uh, the beautiful front molded fiberglass cap, which I'll show you. I'm going to go ahead and start the video by doing uh, the walk around on the inside and then I'll show you all the features on the outside of the coach. This does have a fully enclosed heated underbelly so you can go into extended seasons. And as I said, this is the front living room floor plan, one of the most popular floor plans. Give you an idea of the floor plan here. And of course there's your front living room, which normally is your bedroom. Okay, I'll go ahead and start up in the bedroom, living room area. You do have a, this is a triple slide, so this is your first slide out. Uh, it's about six foot long and three foot deep, and that is the high to bed air mattress sleeper sofa. Uh, there's a little remote on the sofa there where you can air up the mattress. All the fabrics in this coach are in great condition. Posing the slide out couch sleeper sofa is the dual recliner. I believe they're lazy boys, but they're definitely the ultra plush rocker recliners. And cool feature is uh, you do have the vibrating option and heat option for your chairs. A lot of front living room floor plans you will not get the option to have the two rocker recliners. You always have uh, a couch or a J lounge to hide the slide out mechanisms. So definitely a cool feature in the front living room. You do have, I believe that's a 32 inch flat screen. It's a Jensen. Your stereo is a Jensen and it is uh, of course AM FM, uh, CD, DVD, MP3 ready. You do have the HDMI option. There's your port right there. There's your DVD option. And it is home theater. You have speakers going throughout the coach. There's a speaker and there's a speaker. You get the idea. Turn it down. You do have lots of storage up in the living room area. I do check all campers, including fifth wheels, up in the corners and then the rear corners. And I do check for water damage, which is the wrinkling you get on the inside of the coach. I went through this coach pretty good inside and out. I did not find any issues. You do have the fireplace feature, uh, basically a space heater, and of course you do have the fireplace uh, ambiance, and it is the rock look finish. Pretty cool. All your carpets in excellent condition. I think it's like a shag. Show you your window treatments here. Always try to show the window treatments on higher end fifth wheels and travel trailers. You do have day night shades all throughout the camper. You do have the recessed residential style lighting, not just the regular camp pancake lights. You do have the neat recessed lights. This coach is 50 amp service, so you do have the option. If you wanted to put a second AC in here, you could put a 13,500 BTU AC unit right here, and it's already prepped and wired. But your AC on this coach is a 15,000 BTU ducted AC unit. It does have the quick dump feature. 
It's got little louvers that you can open up just to do a quick cool off in the camper when you first get to the campsite and then after a couple minutes you can shut off the louvers and of course your AC will go throughout the ductwork. Nice residential style lighting in the kitchen. Beautiful kitchen. I'll show you a neat feature that uh, the owners were showing me that I've never seen on a camper. This cabinet right here, if it's too high for somebody who's vertically challenged, you can push this button and it actually goes down. Pretty cool. Anyway, but uh, you do have the solid wood drawer fronts with the brushed nickel hardware on all the cabinets. Beautiful cabinetry work on this Wildcat. You do have full length extension metal ball bearing drawer glides. Not just the cheap metal guides or even a plastic guide up underneath. This is a Corian solid surface countertop. Here's your Corian logo right there. Beautiful residential countertop. Lots of counter space. Huge double sink. Nice mowing style sprayer faucet. You have the microwave. We are hooked up to power, so I uh, always check to make sure the digital readout works on the microwave. Three burner gas cooktop with cover, so you have a lot of counter space with this cover. And you do have the 22 inch oven, largest in the industry, on a fifth wheel or a travel trailer. And again, you do have the Corian countertop surrounding the stove top and you do have a knife holder looks like the current owners are doing some decoration to cover that up but anyway uh, you do have the eight cubic foot refrigerator not the six cubic foot this is the largest double door refrigerator you can get it is a domestic automatic runs on LP or and power electric uh, just push a button and you're pretty much ready to go. You do have the raised wood paneling on the doors. Nice pantry. You do have the re recessed uh, residential style hinging uh, for the cabinets. You're definitely not going to see that on a lot of uh, fifth wheels and travel trailers. And you do have a nice skylight area. And this is the second slide out. Your kitchen slides out. And again, your slide out in the kitchen is about six foot long and it's about three foot deep. Wildcat also put in uh, a trash can and you can empty it out outside. I'll show you that when I go outside. Again, lots of storage space. On your switches here, uh, this is the outside porch light. This is, of course, your slide out uh, button, uh, another slide out button, uh, another slide out, go back. This is the awning button, power awning, which I'll show you outside. This is your slide out button, slide out button, and slide out button. And these are your lights for inside. This is your 
diagnostic where you are on all your holding tanks and your battery. Battery is fully charged. Freshwater tank is empty. Black tank or the toilet tank is empty. The gray tank, which is going to be your bathroom uh, sink and bathroom shower, that's empty. And then your galley tank right there, and it's empty. That's, of course, your kitchen. And all your tanks are all heated and enclosed, and so are your gate valves. And I will show you that when we get outside. Do you have a linoleum throughout the high traffic area? Another skylight there above the third slide out. This is a freestanding table and chairs. You do have storage up underneath the chairs for placemats or whatever. The slide out, the third slide out is huge. It goes all the way to the back. The bed is included in the slide out, so it's a good 16 foot slide out. It is a super slide and it's about three foot deep. And again, you have day night shades throughout the coach. Nice residential style lighting above the table and chairs. Show you the bathroom here. Do you have a fantastic vent fan? Always have to have that to get the stuffy smells out. You do have a glass enclosed shower. With skylight. Lots of wardrobe space. It's actually in the slide out. This coach has huge storage. A lot of times on a front living room floor plan you can't say that. Go into the master bedroom here. Again, lots of wardrobe space. I would call this a second closet. Huge closet. TV would go there. Your cable satellite ready throughout the coach. Or drawers. Nice big bay window in the rear. And that's your queen bed. Ultra plush mattress. Queen bed lifts up. And you've got lots of storage up underneath. Huge slide out. Again, it is a, the true super slide. It's one of the longest slides you're going to see in a fifth wheel or a travel trailer. You do have carpeting in the bedroom. And as I pointed out, you do have ducted AC and ducted heat all throughout the coach. And again, I did check for water damage. Uh, normally, what I do is on the slide outs, I'll take my hand and just kind of check for any wrinkling in the wallpaper. Also find it important to check around the uh, corners of the slide out down at the bottom. Any dark staining in the carpet normally is a sign that, that water has stood there for a while and normally gets discolored. I did not find any issues. Definitely the inside of this coach, 1 through 10, 10 being the best, is definitely a 9, even a 10. And I'm pretty particular. More cabinet space on the back side or front side of the uh, island kitchen. Great floor plan. I'll go ahead and go outside and show you the features. This is not an entry level camper whatsoever. It definitely is a full profile. You don't have to duck in the bedroom. I think the, or I'm sorry, up in the living room area. Uh, it's definitely uh, 
not an entry level. It is aluminum frame sidewalls. It's a, they, the brochure, they're calling it a gel coat finish, but uh, it, it looks like a high gloss finish to me. But uh, anyway, you do have the beautiful front molded fiberglass cap. Normally when you see the front fiberglass cap like this, it's when you know you're getting into a higher end camper. Uh, it does have the uh, LED lighting on the front cap. We'll switch here to turn it off and on. I'll go ahead and turn it off. Beautiful front cap. All the decals are in excellent condition. Outside entertainment package. You do have the outside marine style speakers. I will point this out. Beautiful marker lights. Not just not just the cheap, cheesy plastic marker lights, but uh, anyway, you don't normally see the chromed out marker lights. Let's see if I can pan down the side here and show you the what they're calling a gel coat finish. Okay, go ahead and show you. You do have the uh, dual large 30 pound LP tanks, one on each side. Nice slam latch baggage door. For 2012, that was fairly a new feature. Let's see if I could show you that gel coat finish. See how glassy it is? Easier to clean. Huge exterior storage space with light. You do have the power jacks. There's your power jacks for the front. Show you the slam latch baggage doors. Definitely a great feature. Here's your garbage can. You can empty your garbage can from outside. Oh, nice chrome handle on the door. Normally it's a white plastic or black plastic handle. A bug light and your porch light or scare light. Here's your hookups. If you want to hook up a TV outside, you got cable out here. 110 power hookups, and of course, your another speaker for uh, your entertainment package on the outside of the coach. On the awning, I believe uh, it's about a 15 to 16 foot awning. It's a little dirty up in the uh, front here, but it, it should be able to clean up pretty good. Uh, the power awning does have full adjustments on each arm, so you can actually dump one end for water runoff. Nice feature. And there's your huge super slide I was showing you inside going back to the bedroom. As I said, all your decals are excellent condition. I definitely think a dealer would agree with me on this. See if I can show you that high gloss gel coat finish. I did check for delamination, which is the bubbling you get on the fiberglass. Did not find any issues. Show you how much storage this coach has on the outside too. This is underneath the queen bed for the exterior storage. Show you your 16 inch aluminum alloy wheels. All the tires are in great condition. DOT on the tires, I'll show you on the back side. They are from 2011 and uh, from the manufacturers what they recommend the tires easily have two years left on them so this coach pretty much is ready to go you won't need to get anything for this coach spare tire carrier and cover and it does have the uh, bike rack which the owners put on and of course you have the rear ladder to get up to your full walk-on roof in case you want to service your 15,000 BTU AC unit his coach is equipped with the rear electric stabilizer jacks. Show you on the back side here. Oh, the hitch. The hitch is standard on this Wildcat, and the hitch is actually rated at 3,000 pounds. Uh, so you could actually pull a boat if you want, or even some kind of a rack for a generator or something if you decide you want to. There's your 50 amp cord. This coach is full 50 amp service. Most of your campers are probably going to be a 30 amp. Uh, 50 amps is for the second AC option. Your power jacks, 
the rear stabilizer jacks. There's your buttons for the rear stabilizer. And there's your rear power stabilizer jacks. In 2004, definitely a feature you won't probably see. Uh, fresh water fill. Back up here and kind of give you an idea of the side on the back side. There's your heated and enclosed underbelly and all your gate valves are all enclosed and I'll show you and they're protected. I'll show you up in the storage area up front. Uh, I'm sorry, right here in your waterworks area. Okay. These are your gate valves. They're all up into the heated enclosed underbelly so they're protected. It's an extended season trailer. Outside shower, hot and cold running water. And there's your city fill. There's your black tank sewer flush to the left. It cleans out your toilet tank out here so you don't have to drag a hose inside and get all dirty. And here's your cable hookup. And you've got a nice little light here. As I said, 16 inch aluminum alloy wheels. All the tires are original with the coach. They're not dry rotted or anything. I will show you how to look for the DOT on the tires. DOT, normally it's gonna be inside the little oval circle right next to the rim. It's gonna be a four digit number. First two are the week, last two are the year. So it's the 18th week of 2011 when all these tires were made. And I'll show you on this one too. There we go. 18th week of 2011. These are the Dexter Easy Loop axles. I believe they, these are the 6,000 pound axles. Cool feature on this coach. It's not a regular water heater. It's not a six gallon. It's not a 10 or a 12 gallon. It's the tankless water heater. In, endless hot water. That was definitely a feature and that is something you are not gonna find on the fifth wheel. This coach was a special order out uh, from what the owners are telling me, so uh, definitely a lot of cool features that you will not find on a usual fifth wheel. I am going to show you. I find it important. I'm going to go ahead and show you. It's it's cosmetic. It's a, it's called a stress crack. All it is is just it's caused by flexing going down the road and the fiberglass skin just gave uh, and this happens a lot on campers I do point it out it's not a red flag or anything it's just cosmetic so if you want some absolutely 100% excellent this is probably not the coach for you but if you can get past a little tiny stress crack uh, definitely this coach uh, I highly recommend and I actually know the owners I know the whole family so I do find it important to show everything if I find it I'll point it out any issues but um, Anyway, uh, here's your second 30 pound LP tank. Again, backside storage for your slam latch door. Huge storage. Here's your furnace. I believe I pointed everything out. If I didn't, I apologize. For a Wildcat fifth wheel, definitely, if you're wanting to get into a higher end fifth wheel, uh, Definitely this coach is, is one you should take a look at. Coach is just about, uh, about an hour and a half south of downtown Louisville, Kentucky. You deal directly with the owner. Just call the number on the ad. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give HelpSellMyRV.com a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to follow RVs coming up for sale by owner in the Louisville area, you can follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Thank you.